In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to easily create a line graph in Excel. If you're new here, my name's Aldo and I do work at Microsoft, but I also love making videos how people use their computers better. With that being said, let's get straight into this. So you can see in front of us, we have some fruit sales for the past six months, and we wanna turn this data into a bit of a line graph. The first thing I'd recommend is highlighting all your data, and then in the home tab on the right hand side, we wanna format this as a table, pick what works well for you. I'll select just the simple table here and then select on okay. Make sure that you also have the option of my table has headers selected. That way it knows the top line is the header of that table. Let's select on okay and off we go. What you can do now is you can actually highlight all of the data here. In the bottom right hand corner, you actually see there's a little sign with a lightning symbol. This is called quick analysis. This understands the data that you have and it gives you a few easy ways to quickly analyze that data by adding things like data bars and color scales and icon sets. So it's really, really cool. You can also select on the chart option and it gives you a few options of convenient charts. You can go ahead and pick a chart from here if you're happy with any of these. Or what you can do is of course, highlight all of your data go into the insert tab next to home in the top ribbon. And then of course you have all your different charts here. You've got pie, you've got line, you've got bar charts. You can go selected charts. You have all these different options. I'm gonna select on the dropdown of insert a line chart. And you can see here you've got 2D and 3D and you also have 2D area and 3D area charts. And you can select on the more line charts as well if you wanna see all the options that Excel has. Uh, if you want to double check what the recommended charts are for your data, you can look at the recommended option, or if we select on all charts, you see you have so many different options here. You can go ahead and you can have a look at a few of these previews uh, of the line charts that you like. I want to make a really simple one today. So you can see here, I'm just going to pick the first line chart. And then the option here is we have one that's going to focus on the months and then have the uh, the fruits as, as the key. Or we can have one that focuses on the fruits and then it actually shows you the sales per month. So find the data or find the chart that best represents your data. I actually think the first chart is what we wanna show is really the trend of the fruits month on month. So we're gonna select on that and simply select on okay. This is gonna drop your chart in here. Let's go ahead, make it nice and big. The first thing I'd recommend is double clicking where it says chart title and giving it a title. If you want to customize the visuals of the chart, you can also do this really easily in Excel. You can drop down and pick one of these preset options. Something like this looks really cool. Uh, you can get ones that give you more data into the chart. Um, so have a play around here and see what works best for you. I'm going to pick something nice and simple for today. Uh, you can of course change the colors of the charts with some of these uh, built-in options. Again, find something that you like. If you realize that you need to invert your chart data, you can actually use the option here of switch row and column, and this will convert the uh, rows and columns. And this is another way of viewing your data in a different way. Uh, of course, on the right-hand side of the chart, you can select on the chart elements, and this is where you can add or remove different elements such as the axes title. You could remove something like the title of that chart or even just remove the axes altogether. Um, you could add data tables down the bottom if you want even more information or things like tread lines. Go ahead and customize this to your own chart. If you select on the style option under that plus option, this is another way of viewing and customizing those styles that we've just gone through. And then underneath that, there's also filters where you can go ahead and you can actually filter out some data. So say we wanted to double down on the apples versus bananas for the next or for the past six months, we could untick oranges and grapes, select and apply, and that'll remove those from the chart. Or if you wanna add them back in, you can go ahead and add them back in. If you wanted to customize the chart even further in terms of the way it looks, you can also select on each data bar and you can change the fill. So say for example, you're selling red apples. Well, let's go ahead and make those apples red. So it shows it on the graph accordingly. Maybe you wanna change the bananas. Instead of them being green bananas, they're nice ripe yellow ones. So we can go ahead and change this to yellow. Um, so it's another way of making sure that 
your data is represented the way you want it to be represented. And it is that easy to quickly make a line chart in Excel.